Hi, welcome to this system here. We're gonna show you what this system is. What is the idea? The idea is to make a virtual box movie about installing Antergos and of Antergos we're going to install i3 on it and in the meantime work on this i3 system which is actually a Linux Mint 18.1 Cinnamon system. We're gonna combine so different elements yeah. Uh, so VirtualBox, installing on Tergos i3 and how to work with i3. What system is this? I have activated screen key, this little thing here down there. If I press a button now, uh, i3 is, is a tiling manager. I can use many shortcuts on my system and one of them is Windows or Super Key or Mod Key. I use them all the time in, in uh, vary them but we have a keyboard and it has a windows sign mostly it's, it's, it's evident so windows 3 will change my workspace i am now here on workspace 3 it's empty i'm pressing windows enter as you can see the screen key is displaying it so i'll be saying it less and less often so we do our little screen fetch and depending on what you uh, half uh, new fetch screen fetch uh, depends the logo sometimes is wrong or the theme is wrong but both of them are good and they tend to be to update their system so just be patient and then the updates will come in you can see that i'm on a linux mint 18.1 but it really doesn't look like it it's an i3 wm uh, that i have installed in it and i have also the latest kernel I do believe I saw a message that the 4.95 is already out or is coming to go out. I don't remind, I don't remember. This is H, H uh, 5.1, that's why I have different themes. And um, so, an arc, a special arc color, it's a majestic color, it's an, uh, a dark gray, and the Sadi Mono Colora, which looks like this. And that's, uh, and this, the, the dark gray. So that is what I'm on. Okay, so I have Linux Mint 18.1. I put in i3. I'm gonna start to run VirtualBox, Windows D, VirtualBox, enter. This program starts, but it starts at space number eight. So I'm gonna explain what goes into my head and what I'll do to fix that. I rather have this to be on another workspace, so not on 8, but always fixed on some workspace. So I'm gonna go to my i3 file, which is uh, the config file, is the most important file. When I double click this, it's already open. You don't see it, but I know it's already open. Where is it? On my workspace to I've assigned it. Sublime text is always go going to be opened here. So you can assign programs to open on different workspaces, one, two, three, till 10. And here are all my workspaces, but assigning them is done here. As you can see, assign VLC to open on six. And as you can see, I don't have a seven yet. And I thought by myself, that's a good idea to put this one, VMware, VirtualBox and all that, on seven. So I'm doing a copy, doing a copy paste probably going to be called VirtualBox but I'm gonna check so I'm gonna save it already and pressing 7 like so so that's done let's check and see if I'm correct so is this uh, named like I th think it will be named you press Windows enter and you have a terminal, a transparent you know, terminal. You press Xprop, so give me the properties of the X and this is a little cross you see and you click on it and then you can get rid of, of some of the things maybe but you can also manage or you can these windows or my screen is now divided in three parts. I can go to the third one and then Windows F so I have a full view full screen view and the name is like this and it's important 
to really exactly type as it is there or just to copy paste control F again to the two so it's not like so but it's like that save and now <coughs> to rerun this uh, script to rerun the configuration I pressing Windows shift reload R Windows shift R and now everything is reloaded next time I'm running this this little program will show up on 7 now I'm gonna move it manually I'm gonna close this one with Windows shift Q Windows closed and this one I'm gonna move with Windows shift 7 we've agreed to put it there so now it's on here uh, sorry I still on 8 Windows shift 8 I've done the wrong uh, a bad thing so like this and I've moved this one to 7 and this should be on 8 so 7 8 10 everything has its place as you can see there must be order something like that okay so that's a little bit i3 configuration explanation let's get our new elements well everything is just fine but i don't have integers yet so i'm really doing everything from scratch so you can follow every step will pause the movie when it's going to be too long. So Antergos, uh, download of course, something like that. Try Antergos, go down. Here we have the latest install media, download ISO. The torrent is quite quick, so let's do that. Save file. Question is, do I have to click it? I think I do, voila. I agree yes do it and that one in the basket right trash it so I'm gonna pause the movie a little bit okay we're back so it has been uh, downloaded and let's go ahead so remove and close the program so I can use Control Q or always Windows shift Q but be sure to be on the right window Control shift q it's gone so let's have a look at our file manager the trash let's empty the trash and it's no longer red downloads a lot of downloads so i can do this one Control shift i inverse delete and we have only one so this is the one i'm gonna need for number seven welcome to virtualbox let's make a new one the name is gonna be Antergos i3 that's our project it's gonna be Linux Ubuntu 64 is okay it really doesn't matter a lot of elements you can take it's more this one than anything else so Arch Linux 64 bit next okay I have eight megabytes I'm gonna give half to it to the system so I can work comfortably next 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 uh, fixed size you can change that next I'm gonna give it 35 create fail to create a hard link blah 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 let's take a look disk is full okay how full is my disk free space 27 all right no prop let's go down let's give it 20 still 7 gigabytes free create all right then um, very important what I do then is go to settings you can go in in here as well I suppose but settings gives us a nice overview to go over everything and you can go to advanced description encryption system motherboard as you can see I'm going to the processor and I have more processors than eight processors so why not give half of them to the virtual machine true isn't it and on display 
I can give a little bit more for the display. Let's give half storage. We're gonna put something in here. We're gonna put in our CD. Where's our CD? Let's go over them. Zero ports, USB, shared folders, user. Where did I skip it somewhere? So I want to load our ISO inside of our disk here. Empty live CD so we can add choose virtual optisk uh, this is this one let's take a look yeah that's the one I usually change it here I never go to well just don't do it here in the settings so it's just a line here you can press it and then click it choose disk image that's the name it is here and here it was another name change disk what year was it and here it says something else virtual op disk yeah, it's okay all right so it's the same thing so we have now our cd-rom or iso inserted and we're going to start the system it's going to start another well screen next to it but um, let's go ahead inside it click in it and start on Tergas live and fix that later this one we can move seven out of the way so this uh, window we can move it it's now on seven we can move it to five to four anywhere else eh? that's where there's nothing happening so with windows shift five and moving it to here so the seven has its the complete uh, screen to itself and we'll wait and pause the movie hi uh, the, the ISO is a bit been loaded has been loaded but there were some issues with the display um, inside the virtual box in i3 so I went through all of these options and the one that just now worked for me was I think the full screen or was it the seamless mode and in which the image is, is big enough for us to, to follow every system so you just go around depending on your hardware here is where you have to be uh, view I've been here as well this um, not there here for instance resize it so you can um, try to, to get a normal uh, picture so we can try it or install this is of course a tutorial how to install so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna choose English I'm in Brussels that's okay but I do not have an English keyboard let's move up to Belgian keyboard that's that so one two three four five six seven possibilities and I'm gonna choose base so meaning I'm gonna end up with a terminal and I'm gonna run some scripts to have i3 the other option could be you have a gnome or a cinnamon or any of those and you get a display manager and then you decide when you pop up when this uh, login screen comes who are you what's your password you can decide whether you go to gnome whether you go to mate whether you go to i3 and so on so I'm go not gonna do the Op these options which are quite easy and yeah? you just click on it and then everything is installed you log in done so this is the more complex thing meaning you don't have anything you have a terminal I didn't so I do not install this one Apache or Maria and for a web server do not intend to make web server could use the WordPress website to just um, well to, to design or anything like that so I'm gonna do all these except the first one fine okay close I'm gonna erase everything you sure erase everything it's a virtual box and then he's gonna do this one he's gonna delete everything which is fine SD1 gets, gets the boot SD2 gets uh, the root and the 5 will be a swap file we do not know the sizes no so whatever okay yes your name 
is still Eric and the host name is still gonna be uh, Omtergos. Username is gonna be Eric and the password is gonna be Eric as well, like so. Um, did I choose the correct one? I'm, I'm wondering. Yeah, I think I did, uh, it was okay. So it's going to download TTF Google Fonts. It's uh, worth mentioning uh, that the, this TTF Google Fonts is, well, just fine and dandy. But if you want to install TTF Ubuntu family, then it's going to conflict with it because it's already inside there. Um, Cantarell is already inside. Um, and there was a third one, was also a conflict. Ubuntu, Cantarell, and a third line. So you can ask to Pac-Man what's inside these Google fonts and you'll see it's about, I don't know, 20 to 30 fonts. So you have normally already have a uh, wide variety for your the look of your system. I did install uh, the Noto font as well. Noto font comes from Linux Mint and when you're used to it, well, you want to try and see how it looks on other systems. Gonna pause the movie till it's finished. The installation has finished. He's asking us, do you want to restart? Sure. We'll see what happens to our screen resolution again. As you can see, he's still figuring out what to do. I want to boot from the hard disk. I didn't. I, um, you should tell to the system here, no Antergos ISO anymore. So here we are. Let's try and fix this uh, full screen mode, see what happens. Uh, not working. Okay, better. Well, let's leave it at that because it's just a terminal. So we can see whatever goes on. Now I have the second screen, another computer. And I'm following my guide on github.com slash Eric Dubois slash Antergos i3. So there is a tutorial what to do. You can see it also on ericdubois.pe. There is an article with more information and this YouTube uh, tutorial we're making. So there you can follow it as well. It says, look guys, there you are. You have this black terminal and then it's up to you. So let's log in. Like so, and there we are on the terminal. Nothing to see, everything still to do. So this is an Antergos base system. Nothing is installed. You have to install whatever you want. So I'm gonna use the ability to work on a configuration of somebody else. There are lots of configurations of people of i3. So just type in uh, github and then i3 and so on to see how other people have configured their i3 and learn from it https and we're gonna go to github.com slash and then antergos with a big a and a small i i think it was and is going to clone everything so now i have ls now i have a folder and inside the folder, everything uh, should be checked, run, and so on. So I'm following again what I should do on the website, erdubois.pe. And it says, okay, let's move on Tergos. There's a possibility to complete the text. I can't write that fast. It's a tab completion. So you press tab or twice on tab and then it just well fills in whatever it's possible and space this is difficult maybe it's a tilt or something like that you have to figure out on your keyboard where that is and you're gonna copy it to config and i3 so we want to move it to the proper place this is the proper place for i the, the configuration of i3 so done it's there 
let's check so it's moved so nothing is available anymore here let's go to uh, where it is and where is it where it is now in the home folder in the config in i3 there it is and this is our um, actually i3 everything what i3 stands for is in this folder now to be able to run i3 i have this installation folder so cd installation ls a lot of scripts a lot of them are not run as you can see uh, there's also a virtual box and a visual studio code and vivaldi and and so on. a lot of stuff but there are some that are numbered so let's go ahead and, and number those let's do something else so you see the numbers so 10 20 30 40 50 100 200 300 400 500 600 and 700 those are the things we have to run but we have to end at 600 700 is for when we are already logged in an i3 when we have first installed firefox firefox must be must, must run once otherwise the folder is not there so until 600 fine so zero no not zero point slash zero one and then tab completion enter and now we're off i hope we're off so it's going to download everything that's in the inside the script that i don't see any response what do you do then you press ctrl c and it was already busy my apologies machine so it has now looked at all the mirrors and these will be the fastest mirrors for me okay but i do think i have interrupted it so i'm gonna run it again now i see the message finding servers be patient so let's be patient maybe pause the movie as well there we go two sec seconds later there it was so with arrow up you can see the last one i ran so now up to for number 20 20 so zero two install the arch mirrors so there are two things there are the arch linux servers they're using and they are the antergos servers they're using so we need both of them our uh, antergos is not arch but is based on arch and we have the same service we're using so in this file here i'm really downloading um, all the servers that are fastest for me in the neighborhood um i think i'll gonna i'm gonna change this because now i'm i have uh, added my neighbor countries my country and the neighbor countries so i'm gonna delete this for you to have the fastest server from anywhere so that's that and now we're gonna go up again so run this one Um, um, like so now we're going to install the xorg so the server the how the the one that's going to make our, our screen beautiful it's going to supply all our images xorg and then in order to make something to download the fun stuff you can use uh, yaourt, you can use Packer and so on. I've been using Packer for, I don't know, three years or so. I'm very satisfied with it, so I'm gonna use Packer. So Packer is installed. All right. And then let's go ahead with number 50. This is i3. We're going to really install all the elements needed to have i3 and more as you can see g4 the menu that's an alternative menu which i've put under windows shift d or mod 
shift D we'll come to that later and that gives us an, another kind of menu it should be more defined by the dot desktop files that are in users share applications so if one menu doesn't give you the application you want then you might try the other one that's why I keep it around I have two menus um, what else the menu is a special this is something not installed there i3 blocks is now being installed and we are using i3 caps next what's that so you can have i3 plain and simple with no gaps in between the windows and you can have i3 gaps and decide not to have gaps so i rather use the one with caps so i can see the wallpaper changing behind and have transparent windows to have an, uh, well, the look a beautiful look for my desktop background let's pause the movie okay that's finished so arrow up the last one was 50 I believe that's that was it but let's check anyway so 50 where are the others Well, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, there is no 60. Oops. Oh, let's go down and quit with the Q. Um, so we're at, at 100. Okay, fine. Let's go and run 100. Install core software. Okay. What's all this? Let's try to read it. Nothing visual yet. R key is there. Yeah. Um, GTK3, you need to have it. GStream, QT4. Clementine has saw. It's happening quite fast. It's one of the things I love about Arch. They have um, great service. It uh, runs very fast. You can see 23, I think it's megabits or megabytes, I don't know, 23 megabits probably per second. So it's um, fun to install. You don't have to wait hours and hours for it to download everything. What we're gonna do now, G Calculator, GIMP is going to be installed. GNOME Desk Utility, I have to use this from time to time going fast almost unreadable which is just fine for me melt I can I want to talk about melt for you for a time for some time because um, I would have I wanted to discover it uh, earlier melt is interesting to compare files one thing I have file one and file two and I've changed something and what did I change and or you can go it, check it manually, or you can use melt, and he'll say what is the difference between both of the files, and say this is a line you don't have in the other one. Do you want to insert it to the right, to the left? Yes. So it's so easy to figure out if there are differences, even spaces, everything he checks, and he says, I think you have to move this line to the other side. Great. That's one for files. Another thing is directories. You can do that as well with melt. So you have a directory of, I don't know, thousand files. He'll say, you don't have that file in the other directory and do you want me to move it there? So it's so great. Just wanted to share that with you. If you have the need to compare files or compare directories that are exactly the same, Melt is the program. All right, I'm not speaking about Melt. What else? We are at the end all right fine if 
file roller, I see the last things were the things about the zip. So this was 100. 200 is going to be the extra software. What's that? This is just actually a file which points to all the other uh, elements on there, on the, in the, the folder installation. This maybe do not want, that's the Canon I am having here, the Pixma 7700. If you installed it, no problem, it's just five files, it's, it's 10 KB or something, it's nothing. It doesn't matter, so you have my uh, parameters to run the printer, so whatever. That's not important. In sync is going to be installed. In sync is something like Dropbox, but then for Google Drive, but it's you have to pay for it. And NeoFetch, you probably know NeoFetch and ScreenFetch, similar. Um, by the way, the scripts are built in that manner that it's going to look for Spotify. It's going to try to install it with uh, Packer first, I think pack hour 10 and then Yahoo later. And at the end, when everything is installed, he's going to check again the database, the Pac-Man database. Uh, Pac-Man stands for package manager. Yeah? And it's going to check, did was it installed? Like it says here, sublime text dev has been installed. So it's not text, it's an actually test. Was it successful? Did the system actually really actually install the program so now we are at visual studio code and later we'll see a check in the system of the, the script was visual studio actually installed or not sometimes we get false readings but um, yeah 90 percent of the elements are working i think we have to break it a bit here Little pause, no, yes, no. Well, okay, we're off again. So Visual Studio Code has been installed. Like I told you, you get this uh, little message if everything was installed, then um, it works. Anything else about the scripts? Let me think. We're installing a ZSH, but I'm leaving it up to you to run it, meaning ZSH will be installed but not used if you do not type a sentence. And the sentence you have to type is somewhere on my website, erdubat.be. It's uh, sudo change shell, chsh, and then your username, space minus s, and then slash bin slash zsh. So it's actually in, in just English. Change the shell for Eric to bin ZSH. We're still installing stuff for ZSH, command not found, so it's going, going to help if we type something, it's going to suggest that you mean that, that you wanted that. When ZSH tab completion is also installed. Command not found, he says here. Uh, I don't know, it's, it's been installed. The thing sudo here you see it on the top sudo change shell username and it's gone again it's on the website maybe a last thing to tell you what you see here is the um, fixer and the hard code fixer some icons tend to so programmers some developers tend to hard code an icon to a specific place to their icon but when you want to change the icon theme this icon will always stay the same and this hard code fixer is now fixing Gr sync, hard info, and HP lib. Okay, 300. This takes uh, the longest. Why is this taking the longest? Because it depends how fast GitHub is. And as we are speaking, as you can see, GitHub is now fast. There is a problem here. I have to see what that was, is, what that one was. Sadly Extra done. We'll see later if Sadly Extra is installed. So, different elements. I'm gonna run it again, doesn't matter. And see what happened there, which one it was. 
Sadly extra probably. So um, Sardi is an icon team you can change. Unable to write file. There's something about the GitHub. All right. To do, I'm going to break it here because everything is already installed. And we're going to go to the 400. Like so. What's in here? Some sound elements, a render, it's more specific distro. Uh, installation uh, software for this distro and this is about SMB okay password 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 there you go this is for the music yeah there's a little problem with the player control but I fixed it so um, I fix and not fix you will see the error And here you see failed to init transaction unable to log database it happens uh, to me before so something about the database that is uh, gets stuck that's why I also write these scripts to run it again and as you'll see now you will install it so if you see something popping up you just like you see skipping 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 so he knows it's installed so it won't reinstall of course password retyping is necessary and here you see Voila, now it gets installed. So there's an, there was a lock up on the database and that's why it couldn't install it, of course, it's a safety. Why the lock? Hmm. As long as it as works, when we run it the second time around, I'm happy. Maybe we're too fast, I don't know. Something went wrong and the lock stays. So anything that's not installed and any elements that you see whoa there's an error rerun it it will skip everything that's available that's already installed you know if it was a database lock then when lock is is gone everything will work just fine and it takes some time voila if we now rerun it third time you will see it will skip everything except my passwords again everything is installed okay this was 400 then the 500 samba if you want so samba is sharing between computers you have an, uh, a windows computer you have a mac computer a linux computer and then you want to share movies between them music photos etc you have to set up a folder that you share between computers and Samba is uh, the way to go but that is left up to another tutorial to explain you that let's pause as you can see the Samba software has been installed that's the 500 now the most important one well not that important but it is the one that's going to start i3 so if you don't run the 600 then things will go wrong there are still some things to fix i see that's strange i thought i fixed those because we have to wait for the the, 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 the lines to copy the lines yeah i'm gonna fix them anyway so you won't see these lines here copy cannot create a regular file and another one so i have to tell the system to make these before to copy it that's the thing we should do and this line should have been gone i thought but i check that again okay i went to my other computer and i fixed the code and let's uh, show you what I do now. I go up one level. This is the GitHub. I've refreshed GitHub on the other computer. I'm gonna say 
um, to to get it again. So git pull, get everything from GitHub. And there is one thing I changed, as you can see, from version one to version two, but also uh, something had changed inside. So set the installation, and we have here a new version, new 600 version two. So I'm gonna run this one and see if I get other errors again. And there you go, that looks better. So fix that issue. And then it says, finally, you can reboot and start computing. You will be logged in automatically. Type in the terminal, the following code should reboot. Ah, yeah, we you can install automatically, but there is something we should have changed and we forgot that. So what should you do? And you should change the name in the file installation settings auto login service because my name is Eric my login is Eric but yours is probably not so we have to go to the folder settings so CD settings LS and there is an auto login service you see it and then it's best maybe to do nano auto login and so on and here somewhere in there you will see my name you have to look for Eric uh, probably somewhere up then ah there it is as they start Eric so change this one to your own name and then control X is exit and then it normally asks you something because you changed it and then you say yes and then this everything is finished okay well now that we have changed our file with our personal login we should really run the 600 again ah yeah of course because we have just changed something so running the 600 will re uh, run because yeah we are in settings so we should go up one level we should uh, we should uh, copy the saved file to the proper place. So, like so. No errors. Creating all folders. Moving files to start i 3 vm and so on. Uh, yeah. Scripts. Uh, okay, everything done. And he asks me something. Yeah, sure. You can save that. And then we have everything installed and now we can do sudo reboot now without mistake it will work so don't forget to change the name it's meant to be easy for me but it's, uh, yeah my name is Eric <laughs> that's simple uh, so don't forget to change the name in the file there we go you see that i3 has some difficulty to figure out the size of the screen so let's go though go again and ask full screen and then it seems he doesn't doesn't he has difficulty and then you do it again without full screen and you have something to work in vmware of course so variety is putting up fine i don't want to participate it's finished and uh, we can make this bigger by Windows F, so it's easier to change. Start up, it's fine. Don't want this, that, 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 or that, or that. I will download, uh, install Dropbox, not in a virtual machine, but and then point to the beautiful wallpapers I've collected in the past with Desktopper. I will say that it has to be a big, at least 80% of my screen resolution. And that's it. Vivaldi has been launched too. I have to look into that why, because I don't want to, to launch. When I want to quit something, you move over a window, Windows, Shift, Q, done. So this is normal, Firefox on one, Sublime Text on two, and here's my Dropbox I'm not gonna install. So Windows, Shift, Q, yeah, I'm gonna quit. This is the file manager I'm chosen for Nemo. Nemo is not perfect, but I can make it better with going to the toolbar and 
asking my the rest of the icons particularly this one which makes it easy for me to open a terminal and then the last one not least one is Spotify on 10 music is installed network manager is installed there is a variety that's working so I have another wallpaper Windows 4 I can just scroll over it and get the wallpapers from desktopper so there this is not my collection this uh, is coming from uh, desktop and um, in sync is this Google Drive thingy and this is Pamac which is telling me that there are no updates so this is what it is uh, can't read temp well you have to figure out every hardware is different you have to figure out what is uh, the problem yeah, as you know it, everything is now in i3 you will have this as well this division and you will see that mm, some of them you don't want to have so get rid of them but i3 is the main thing you need you press on config and you go check on number two we have opened it with sublime text which is what i want Control scroll make it bigger so i can read it so this is your i3 and you can uh, check out um, elements you can change the thing where we're talking about is this country temp we have to know what bar is this there are three options to have a bar so it's this bar that is functional there is no hashtag in front option two is not implemented you can only have one bar so you have to choose option one two or three so not, not one or two it's the one uh, not two and three it's the one i'm to check i have to open i3 status conf so i3 status conf is here and uh, let's see how it opens it he opens it also with sublime text which is great which is what i want and country temp is this one temperature so he's going to a device and this file is probably not existing so sys device platform okay so you go and that's the last thing i'll do and enter movie so sys 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 device it was devices devices not device and then um, platform was it core temp platform core temp core temp core temp so it's not available so probably due to the vmware machine that it is situated somewhere else how hot the computer is I'm not seeing it right now so let's not make the movie any longer you won't have a problem when running on the directly on the hardware so I hope uh, everything was successful and that you have a working Antergo system and now it's up to you to change uh, all elements I'll show that in other movies